Hello everyone, welcome back to Medieval Engineers. No more update video, got that out of the way yesterday with all the blocks and everything. Today, we're going back to my construction project because I've finally figured out how to work out my gate. So we fly through the entrance here, you can see not a whole lot of height clearance. Um, poor planning on my part, just with the whole design of the gate and everything. Not a whole lot of height clearance, but pretty wide you should be able to fit like a cart basic cart through there with supplies anyway we come through here these are the little guide rails that I decided to add to help guide the gate up and down so it's not flying all over the place but come up here into the gatehouse I made you can see I was messing around a bit with the furniture blocks up these torches just to make it seem like an actual gatehouse um, some furniture for the guards to sit down and relax. A few extra tables. Again, I love how it's how you can dynamically place the furniture so it's like you're actually storing stuff that you can just push around and set up later. Some barrels there. Again, just decoration. Some supplies, you know, food and wine and whatnot for the guards. Hopefully they won't get too drunk while out on watch. Anyway, we come out here, and you can see the basic setup I have. Basic portcullis gate goes up and down. Well, really not a portcullis. There's no, uh... Portcullis, I guess, is more of like a chain link type fence, but with wood. It has like the lattice design to it. Anyway, two rope drums so that it comes up evenly and it's not off-center or anything. Gotta be real careful with this, because it can cause a lot of damage if you do it too fast. You can see it wobbling a bit, straining from the weight. There we go, completely lowered down. Again, not a lot of height clearance, but it is what it is. I had some weight blocks at the bottom, uh, if you remember from the block video I did. The weight blocks are usually used for trebuchets as like a counterweight or whatever, but there's more than just that you can use them for. For this build, like I said earlier, I put it at the bottom of the gate just to uh, weigh it down more so it was more stable when raising and lowering it. That's what it looks like closed off. Pretty good, a little gap through the top, but not perfect, but it works. That's what I was going for. Just basic design to keep out foot soldiers. It's three wide. Um, not a lot of... Uh, how would you say? There's not a lot of design going into defensive properties for buildings and such because again it's i keep saying again for some reason but there's not a lot of defensive minded building going on right now because it's only early access so the only real weapons we have access to are catapults trebuchets sorts like that and our well projectile throwers which are kind of unrealistic because they shoot a lot harder and faster than a regular trebuchet or catapult. Anyway, there's the gate that took me a while to figure out, actually. There's a couple different ways you can build dynamically to get an object to to build off of an object free-handed. It's kind of complicated to get the hang of it. For this gate, I actually use the catch block I built the top of it off of the catch block up here, and then when it was done, I cut it off. But doing that, I actually ran into another problem where I actually had to snip the ropes off and let it drop down because when it was attached to the ropes before I cut it loose, it would only come down as far as I had built it. It wouldn't come all the way down here. So I actually had to build a buffer of timbers at the bottom so that it would slam down on those because it was breaking the stone blocks underneath. So I had to build the timbers underneath to protect the floor. 
then let it drop down, then attach the ropes. Then I could delete the timbers and it was able to raise up and down normally. So it's quite a convoluted process, but finally figured it out, finally got it done. I started building back here more, the actual wall of the castle. Oh, wrong button. Fly mode is what I wanted. The actual wall of the castle I started to build. I wanted a fairly large wall to walk on top of. So I was originally going to do a three wide wall with the uh, battlements on the sides to make it larger to walk across on top. But I also wanted a hallway in the middle of the wall, inside the wall, that you could run through. And when I had that idea set up, a one wide passageway wasn't going to work real well with... I didn't like the look of it with just square hallway. I wanted the archway. So I decided to make it an extra block wide so that I could fit in the archway going in. The reason these blocks here are empty and there's no roof there is because if you watch the intro video for the main menu, there's a video playing in the background as a splash screen. You actually see the developers using a rounded arch corner that would fit into these two spots. So I have those empty right now, just waiting for the update where they add those blocks back into the game. I guess we can mess around a little bit, see if we can... Uh... I don't think it's going to work with the block within block, but we can give it a shot. Well, what do you know? It actually does. Not a perfect round corner, but for that corner, it actually does work pretty good. It's flush with the rest of the wall. A little bit sharper corner there. I think the block they actually have in the development build smooths that crease out a little bit more, so it's not as defined. But I don't think we'll be able to get something for this inverted corner here. Nope. Not gonna work well there. Yeah, we'll definitely have to wait for the next update to add that block in, but we can definitely use this corner, the block within block there, for right now. So we'll go down. This side's just a mirror of that side. So come down here, add in that corner. I didn't even think of that before. That's pretty nice, actually. Anyway, my plan for the rest of this video, I'm actually going to do some building on camera again, a little bit more than I did last time. Uh, what I plan on doing, ignore that over there, that was just test stuff. Um, I'm actually going to be building the corner towers. Well, two of them. There's going to be four total, two more on the back, but I'm going to be building the first two corner towers of the proper castle wall. I already have the idea in my head for what I want to do, so I already have most of the blocks lined up for it. Set up so that we're not wasting as much time just talking and messing with the inventory. They're going to be a lot smaller than those towers, but they're going to be a lot taller too, so they're more lookout towers than defense towers, like those big ones over there, which I have yet to get around to editing. Uh, before we continue there, uh, like I said in the last video, the base of these towers is very, very weak, and as I demonstrated, one shot with a cannonball with a projectile, and the entire tower just comes crumbling down, so I am going to have to edit the base of these towers to make them stronger. Also, 
when I was working on the main wall and decided to attach it to this lower wall here. Currently, behind the gate and on the inside of the wall is the only way to get on top of the wall. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything different at this point, but for right now, that's the only way to get up onto these walls. But these defensive towers here are outside the gate. They're inside the entryway, but there's no gate or anything protecting the entrances to these towers. So from a logical viewpoint, enemies would be able to just... Uh, this block still has some issues. The collision mess mesh for this variant of this round doorway is kind of funky right now. I thought it had been fixed, but they haven't got around to that yet. Anyway, from uh, enemies... From a defensive viewpoint, an enemy could just march right in, slaughter all any guards that you have standing in this tower, and then, boom, they have free reign to this big area here. They can come up to this upper tower, the upper part of the tower, and since it's higher than the walls, if they had archers or whatever, they could easily start taking down your men, if the gate was still open, they could prevent someone from going out and lowering the gate. Just kill them as they try and get to the gate controls. So I didn't think that, I didn't plan that out in advance enough. So what I'm going to have to do is remove the doorways down there altogether. And then I'm probably going to make a doorway into these towers from the wall only. That way the only way to get into those towers, without destroying them of course, is to actually be inside the castle and have to go way around, up onto the wall, down onto these lower walls, around the gatehouse, and then into the tower. So it makes it a lot more defensible, not easy to capture and all in all, I have a bit more work to do with those before I'm completely satisfied with it. Alright, now that that little rant's over, I'm going to continue building this little tower here. Originally, I was going to go with a, just a three-corner tower. Uh... demonstrate very quick. Let me get into spectator mode, it's a lot easier. You don't drift when you're flying. I was originally going to plan something that looked like that. The cone tower, but only with the cone tower roof, but only with three of the sides so that it meshed into the corner over there. But then I realized if I wanted to do that, this wall would have to be re ridiculously tall for a tower like that to have any merit. So instead of that, I decided on just a really small but very tall lookout tower on the corner. So every now and then I'm going to be bringing up the structural integrity overlay just to see how high I can get this tower before it starts to weaken too much on me. So, whoops, my guy fell, I keep doing that. It'll be coming in here. So we want doorway there, middle doorway. I'm not sure if we want the staircase. Maybe we just start right there. Trying to think what would flow better with the castle. Uh-oh. Froze for a second there, sorry about that. I'm not sure what will flow better. I think... I'm not sure if the castle is going to be longer than it is wide. If it... 
I don't think I want to make it completely square. I think I want to make it a bit longer rectangle going that way. Just to kind of even out with this extended entrance point there. So if that's the case, then going with the natural flow of the tower, you'd be going lengthwise, so you'd want to come at the stairs like that. Or at least I would. This is my building process to see how things would flow and look natural, even though it's a artificial creation. I'm not sure if I want windows going up or if I just want windows at the top. Hmm. I think we'll try just windows at the top since we have alternating windows going all the way up on those towers. I think we're going to make this solely a sole lookout tower, just having windows and uh, battlements at the top. So I'm going to see how that works out. This is a change of pace. Because structural integrity is turned on, I'm doing it one level at a time instead of just control clicking like that. Just to be on the safe side and make sure nothing starts crumbling on me. So far so good. I'm, I think... At least, I'm colorblind, so I'm not sure if that's still green or if it's starting to turn a little bit yellow. For right now, I think I'm good, so build a few more levels, see where that leaves us. Alright, now that definitely looks a little more yellow than green compared to the wall next to it. So it's starting to put more stress down here from the weight going up. I, I want these towers to be taller than those ones since these are going to be the lookout towers and not really used for guard purposes. So I want to get them as high as I can while still making them stable at the base so that one shot won't completely destroy it. Though honestly, because it's so small and thin, one shot probably would destroy it no matter what. And a bit more yellow down there, but I think we're Good to go a little bit higher. Whoops. Up, oh, ah, no, ah. Just a little bit too late. One level too many. There goes our tower. Not even sure how many that was. Let's see if we can measure it out. One. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, so 12 to 15 blocks, I guess. Alright, since that's ruined now, I have a save right before we added this corner arch there, and before I started building up this tower. Uh, I did want to get a tower built in this episode before I signed off. 
Uh, so I'm going to see if I can redo it over here real quick. But once I go off, I'll reload to the save I had before this video and probably build up both towers off camera. So let's do 10 high. Let's do 12 high. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Four, so you'll need eight more walls on top of it. Or so that looks. Not really as tall as I wanted, but nothing you can really do about it. Just even if it one or two more levels on it. I know it's risky, but gosh darn it, I want it. Up right there. That's the culprit. Which is understandable. That's the first wall piece instead of a full brick, so that would be rather unstable. Get add, need to add the roof to it and stairs. Another layer for windows. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take off the two levels I added. And hope that the last couple additions that I have will make it tall enough for my liking. Alright. Stairs. Let's see, we're going lengthwise, so natural flows that way. Almost to the top. There we go. See if that didn't hit any stability. No. Still looking kind of weak there. Alright. Uh, at the top. There Rounded four pieces. And... No, don't, don't collapse. Every time the game stutters like that, I freak out. Right. Come around. Actually works out good, the spiral starts going that way and you come out coming this way. But actually stuck with the flow pretty well. Hmm. Uh, gonna need a doorway.
We're getting really close to our weight cap here. Oh, oh, oh. That is really red there. I think a roof. I wanted another wall with windows, but I think even just adding a roof is going to make this thing topple. Hmm. Wonder how this would look. Just like that. Eh. Looks alright. I'd rather have the cone top, but if I want it tall, I don't think I'm gonna be able to add the roof onto it. Without having the platform at the top be considerably further down it's just putting too much strain on these lower pieces and right now because this video is getting so long i can't think or experiment with a way to make this more stable down here the only way to be able to get the tower taller i think would to be would be to make the wall itself taller so that we have more of these rounded base ones going further up to give it more strength, but uh, that's not going to happen this episode. Uh, I'll fiddle around with it off camera, see what I can come up with. If I find anything good, I'll mirror the other side uh, with it by the next video, and hopefully by the next video I'll be able to start working on the rest of this wall. Hopefully this Thursday we'll get another update for the game and get this corner archway piece, but we'll see. Anyway guys, that's it. That's it. Hope you liked the video. If you do, leave a like and a sub if you want, if you want to see more. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.